We've got McFly. How are you, boys? Yes. Wow. 650 girls waiting to see you. How many girls outside my studio? None. None. I'm sorry about that. Do you want us to lend you some? Can you tell me what it's like to be attractive? <laughs> <laughs> you should know, man. You're not, come on. Now, don't patronise me. I've got uh, ginger hair, deeply unattractive, <laughs> quirky obese. You know this is true. No, no, not at all, man. You're a good-looking dude. How's everything? Oh, thank you. I take that as a compliment. McFly think I'm good-looking. Oh, those two do. You're not so sure, are you? <laughs> I'm not so sure, and I agree with you. <laughs> How do you get that ear to do that? I mean, it's about six foot tall, and it sticks up perfectly. Uh, I took some advice from, uh, from Jedward. <laughs> yeah, they, they told me how to do it. What a life you lead, because when I look at your uh, kind of rise to fame, I've been playing your tracks on the radio for years, and it's kind of cool to play you, and that's a nice place to be. I mean, obviously, it's one of my greatest tunes, and I'm a straight male. This must be remarkable for you. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's good to hear, uh, you know, comments like that, because we do get the, uh, you know, you're amazing, and I love you, and you're fit, and you're fit. What, what about our tunes? You like our tunes? Yeah, we still like your tunes, yeah. And you're proper musicians. I think that's why you're still here. When I look at other bands who have faded away, they come on and sing and auto-tune themselves. But, I mean, you guys really are musical. Well, I think that's that's the reason why we've, we've, we're still together and why we want to be together for, forever, really, because we, we love what we do. We get to play, you know, our instruments. We get to to create the music we get to be together we're best friends and, and we genuinely love our job so that's why we're still here tell me about coming on tour to places like Leeds I mean the girls are here to have the album signed are there any guys to do that or? yeah we get quite a lot you know more as, as the years have gone on it's more and more guys turn up I mean you know did, when we were younger it did start with oh my boyfriend's come along you know he secretly really likes your album but now you know you get groups of guys coming and so you know as, as we evolve as a band yeah it's the older you get as well I think because when uh, like I wouldn't go and have stuff signed by like someone that was like 10 years younger than me <laughs> well it's really curious Danny tell me about it because my producer Emma thinks that you're delicious um, <laughs> the, but the truth of it is you're kind of across several age groups now because you've come back so what's the average age of people coming to see you I would say it was 16 to 20 yeah it's, it's a real mix I mean there's still a few young ones but it is our main hardcore is probably around the average age of like 15, 16, 17. So um, I think the fans are kind of growing with us and we've been very fortunate to have such a, a loyal fan base. I'm told you've had a makeover or something. I mean, I don't know what's going on under these clothes because, of course, you're all very cold today. And I hear there's muscles now and there's <laughs> definition and you're all looking gorgeous. I mean, the, the muscly ones on that end of the uh, of yeah. the lineup at the moment. Oh, uh, really? No, no, well, we... we Whilst we're away recording the album, we, we decided to, you know, we wanted everything to be as amazing as possible. We wanted to come back looking good as well. So we all um, did a bit of exercise. I think me and Tom took it the furthest. We were quite obsessive. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, it's Christmas time now and it's cold. So it's, do you we have a bit, bit of fat? Yeah, you need to keep us warm over Christmas. I'm getting fat. What <laughs> advice would you have for me about the chins? The double chins are my biggest problem because they stick out a lot. Um, how do you get rid of those? I have, I absolutely have no idea. I don't know what to say. Is that? No carbs after three o'clock. <laughs> I don't do carbs anyway, but it you doesn't seem do to be. Carbs. No, no, no. I've been on the Atkins for years, but I mean, it gets you to a point, and then that's it. Do you know? What? I th we like it's mainly it's diet is the hardest part of what you know when we were going to the gym and stuff, especially when we're on the road and we're. It's not so hard when we're recording, but now we're promoting and you know we're traveling around the place and stopping off at service stations. And you have to walk past Burger King, and KFC. Want, yeah. All you want is a marshmallow tea cake. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a fan of Greg's? Greg's, oh yes. yes, I love Greg's, yeah. <laughs> that, that's that's one, one hard thing to try and resist. I do enjoy Greg's very much. Would you tell me that feeling when you go on stage tonight in front of tens of thousands of people and they're all screaming for you and they're hanging on your every word? How does that feel? Um, Vulnerable. I, I don't know. It's 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 awesome. It's like uh, it's what we it's why we do what we do. We don't we're not in a band to be to be famous we're in a band to to play music in front of people that, that enjoy it hmm. so it's awesome and and for you that feeling when they're looking at you because i mean i notice you play to the crowd a lot you, you love the audience don't you yeah i just sort of if i'm having a good time yeah you know, i believe that they'll be having a good time i just try and get everybody in there to just enjoy themselves and if they can go away from a mcfly show and say that was amazing i had a really good time then that's our job done it seems really competitive this year. Everybody from the Chelsea Pensioners has got an album out to the wonderful Jay McDonald. I'm sure you're a big fan of her. <laughs> uh, Dougie is, yeah. Have you, have you heard of her live at the Palladian album? 
I yes, I've had. I have been, <laughs> I'm repeat. You know, your my world is fabulous, by the way. I've got to tell you. Yes, I couldn't agree more. Uh, have you thought of doing your my world? Uh, no, but you've just <laughs> put an idea into my head. I think a Jay McDonald medley is the future for McFly. I don't know. I'm I'm so confused, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to panic. Does everyone know something? I don't. Is I'm not like speaking too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm being punked, aren't I? As, where's Aston? Come on. Well, what is it? Is it the hair? What's putting you off? What's confusing your brain? The the this person you're talking about. Jay this microphone. She's a singer. She's a You've singer. You've never heard of Jane McDonald. I've she never. She was on Loose Women. Yeah, I think we met her, yeah. Yeah, we've met her loads, yeah. She's from oh, Leeds. God, Dougie, are you away? What's happening? I, I'm terrible with people's names and remembering things. She's gorgeous. She was a lady off the cruise. Let me describe her. Six foot tall. Oh, the from the cruise yeah. thing. Yeah, I know who she is. Oh, yeah. Right. Do you have to keep reinventing yourself for doing that? That was my point. There's a million albums available right now and you've got a lot of competition. Well, I think like there's always going to have, you know, the new hot band at the moment come through. You know, we were very fortunate to be that band when we first came out, you know, seven years ago. But, you know, you're, n- you're never going to be that band forever. And uh, so I think, you know, you, you can't stress and worry about that. I think the reason why we do try and, you know, sort of change and reinvent ourselves from time to time and progress is just that's what what bands have to do throughout their career you know you go through phases in every aspect of your life and certainly musically and so that's you know kind of where we're at now I've thought after seven years it's our fifth studio album it just felt like a great time to try and progress and, and challenge yourselves Harry I don't want to keep harping on about this but at your sexiest how sexy was it because I mean without there being a credit card exchange it very rarely happens for me so so what is it like then <laughs> when you're at your peak of sexiness yeah um, I don't think I've ever considered myself to be sexy, so I wouldn't. Of course, uh, you do. No. <laughs> but you know no, when you're like, let's just show up. Oh, sexy, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> oh, sexy. Check no. out that pack. I've never thought I'm sexy. I don't think any of us are particularly sexy. I think Danny's maybe considered sexy because of his mm. gravelly voice. So really, yeah. yeah. People have sex. Well, people have sex to my voice. Well, he's really? like, he's a, you yeah. know, with his performing <laughs> and his 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 voice. I think. Um, that's the grossest thing Danny's ever said. Mm. People tell me my voice is like a chain coming it's off a me, motorbike. It's me listening to my own voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, dude, it's gone, Danny. Oh, yeah. You say people, it's just you. Yeah. <laughs> and so you go out there tonight then, and 600 plus girls are going to be begging for you. You could have any one of them. I mean, do you have a little deal where you have number 37, you have number 46? How does it work? Yeah, we pull it out of a hat, don't we? Is it like a Chinese menu where you just pick what you want? <laughs> it's, a, it's a lucky draw. What's it called? A raffle. You just call the numbers out. I, th- I think if those girls actually knew what we were like and how to disgusting we all really are they'd they'd love us even more doggy now we're trying to (laughs) promote the band here if they knew how bad your farts really were (laughs) we don't need to lower the tone you don't know who Jay McDonald is now you're talking about farting on the air this is a BBC can't get away with that oh no sorry it's it's like Russell Brand and what's his face oh yeah there's going to be another inquest in there I I can feel it we'll all end up on a list somewhere you don't want to do that off this new album what's your best track then Um, my personal favourite is a song called If You See Kate Mm-hmm. Which is a very good tune. I think. I think this. The uh, personally, think the album's very, very good, and I think people should check it out. Is this about Kate Middleton? Who's it about? It's not about Kate Middleton. It's actually we didn't actually. It's the first song actually we've um, ever done or had on an album that we didn't write on. So we don't actually know who Kate is. Ah, but she, she makes an appearance in um, in another one of the songs that Tom wrote. So, mm. and here we go. Let's make some headlines. And Kate Middleton out of ten. Um, out of ten, she's your type. She, yeah, she is my type. Yeah, she's very beautiful. Out I'll of ten, her, uh, I'll give her. Um, I'll give her a nine. Nine. I'll give her an eight and a half. Eight and a half. I'm gonna go with a ten. Ten. I'd go solid eight. And I'd give her one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all that just yeah, for that. You see what I did there? <laughs> hey, guys, you can use that one later. Good luck with all your fans. And think of me when you're there with the pick of the crop and I'm left walking home by myself. Good luck with everything <laughs> to the boys from uh, McFly, then Tom, Danny, Dougie and Harry. Your new album's called Above the Noise. And this song is Shine a Light.